Most iPhone users do something every single day, and it's actually damaging their battery, slowing down the phone, and making apps take longer to open. And that thing is swiping up to close all your apps. Apple has said this many times. But let me show you why closing your background apps is bad, and what you should do instead to make your iPhone faster and last longer. Let's start. Mistake number one, closing apps, forces your iPhone to work harder. When you swipe away apps, the iPhone doesn't free up RAM. It actually makes the processor reload the entire app from zero the next time you open it. That means more battery drain and more heat. iOS is designed to freeze apps automatically in the background, so they use no power until you need them again. So stop swiping them away. Here's what you should do instead. Limit which apps can refresh in the background. The real problem isn't background apps, it's background activity. Some apps update constantly, checking messages, refreshing feeds, tracking behavior. So instead of closing them, just limit which ones are allowed to refresh. Here's how. Open Settings. Scroll down and tap General. Scroll down once again and tap Background App Refresh. Click on it at the top. Then choose Off or Wi-Fi only or go back and turn it off for specific apps. This keeps your phone cold and saves battery without hurting performance. Mistake number two, leaving live activities turned on for apps that don't need live updates. Live activities looks useful, but most people don't know it keeps apps running live processes on your lock screen. That means the app stays active, constantly updating in the background, which drains battery and keeps the app awake even when you're not using it. You don't need this turned on for every app. Here's how to fix it. Go back to your main settings. Scroll down to the bottom and tap Apps. Select each apps that used to run live activities on your phone, then turn it off. This stops apps from constantly refreshing on your lock screen and prevents unnecessary background activity. Mistake number three, thinking closing apps improves battery health. Your battery drains faster when your phone reheats apps over and over again. Every time you swipe them away, your iPhone uses more power to reopen them. So here's what actually protects your battery. Use low power mode instead. Low power mode automatically limits background activity the correct way. Go back to your main settings. Then tap Battery. Scroll down to the bottom and tap Power mode. Turn on low power mode. This is far better than closing apps manually. Mistake number four. Not checking which apps drain the most battery. Some apps drain your battery aggressively, even if you rarely open them. Here's how to find the worst ones. Still under Battery in your settings. Scroll down and tap View All Battery Usage to see the list of apps. If you see an app using 20%, 30%, or even 40% of your battery in the background, go back to your main settings screen. Scroll down to the bottom and tap Apps. Then look for the exact app and tap on it. Now turn off anything you don't actually need, like Background App Refresh Notifications and Location Access Set it to While Using or Never This stops the app from waking up your phone and draining battery without your permission. Mistake number 5. Closing Apps Instead of managing location permissions Location is one of the biggest battery killers, and most apps don't need constant access. Here's what you need to do. Set location access correctly. Go to your main settings again. Scroll down and tap Privacy and Security. Then tap Location Services. Now scroll through your apps and tap any app that doesn't actually need your location, like games, social media apps, or shopping apps. Change their permission to Ask Every Time or Never. Only leave location on for apps that truly require it, like maps or ride-hailing apps. This protects your battery and your privacy. So stop swiping away your apps. You're not helping your iPhone at all. Instead, control the background activity, battery usage, and location settings the right way. It makes your phone faster, cooler, and your battery lasts way longer. If this helped you, Hit the like button so more people can see it. And subscribe. I have more powerful iPhone settings coming.